Hello, statistics and precalculus. This is the day. You have added polynomials, subtracted polynomials, and multiplied polynomials. Today, we get to divide polynomials. Here's the example from page 366. Long division of polynomials looks just exactly like long division that you learn in fourth grade. Nice little bar here. 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 3x plus 1. There we go. Now the first question is, how many times does x squared go into 4x cubed? We're not really worried about the other little pieces of it yet. We're just worried about the first terms, the x squared and the 4x cubed. And the answer to how many times does 4x squared go, does x squared go into 4x cubed is it goes in 4x times. I'm going to line up the 4x over the column that has all of the x's in it. 4x I'm going to do this off to the side. You don't have to do it off to the side if you're comfortable with it. x squared plus 3x plus 1. The same as when you did long division, you multiply, and you write the answer down, and then you subtract. The answer when I multiply, 4x cubed plus 12x squared plus 4x. I'll put that in here. 4x cubed plus 12x plus 4x. And now I'm going to subtract. If I'm going to subtract, it makes life easier for me if I just write out what I'm going to do, and then I can add the pieces together. The 4x cubed minus 4x cubed is lovely. That's 0. 2x squared minus 12x squared is 10x squared, and 3x minus 4x is minus x, and then bring down the plus 5, the same as you brought down things before. Good. Now we've got 10x squared minus x plus 5 down at the bottom there. Doing all right. Looking for how many times x squared now goes into 10x squared. I'm sorry, that should be minus 10x squared. 2x squared minus 12x squared is minus 10x squared. So how many times does x squared go into minus 10x squared? The answer, of course, is minus 10. minus 10 times x squared plus 3x plus 1 is minus 10x squared minus 30x minus 10. So that's what we got here, minus 10x squared minus 30x minus 10. And now we're going to subtract. And again, here, subtracting negatives, I'm going to say it's easier to change the signs and add them together, and then we see what we got. So minus 10x squared plus 10x squared is nothing, hooray. Minus x plus 30x is 29x. 5 plus 10 is 15. 29x plus 15 is the remainder. And I know I'm done because now I have 29x down here. Up top I've got x squared. There's no way that I'm going to put 29, that I'm going to put x squared into 29x because it's a higher power there. So as soon as I've got a power that's smaller than the number, I've got my remainder. My quotient up top is the 4x minus 10. So what this means, big picture, is that 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 3x plus 1 is equal to 4x minus 10 plus my remainder, 29x plus 15 divided by your x squared plus 3x plus 10. That's what part of it it is. One last tool. You might like this. This will be helpful for when you're checking your work. You can go to your calculator. And proper fraction is a command that's under both number and algebra, whichever you prefer. 
under there and under the Fraction Tools menu. So Proper Fraction shows up under the Fraction Tools menu. Hit Enter. There we go. You see that we have a very similar answer to what we have before, although it's formatted ever so slightly differently. If you look here, we've got the 4x minus 10 is on the right hand side, whereas when we did it, it was on the left hand side. And the remainder part is written up top. So you can check and see, did you get it right? And in this case, yep, we got it right. This is, you get the same answer. So again, the check there was with proper fraction. All right, there we go. Have a good day.